So I sold my uh, my earlier compressor, which I bought when I didn't have the, the piece that's in the shed. And uh, so I went to pick up another one. So this one is a Eagle. I don't know the model number. That's why I'm going to have to tear it down and uh, try to find a uh, some kind of number. So I know exactly what it is. It's a one and a half horsepower. And uh, since it's a, it's an oil bath, it's oil lubricated. It's a lot. I, and I mean a lot um, quieter than the other one and smaller pretty much the same weight because the, the motor and the, the pump is uh, quite substantial versus the other one so that's what I bought so I'm uh, noticing a few things wrong with it and uh, let me show you uh, what happened to it okay, so right now right here we can see this is sitting crooked so yeah the guy told me uh, it's been dropped when it was new and uh there are... this is uh this is the damage the end all used to be here uh, i guess they tried to weld it but it just broke again or something so they they welded something up in here and uh they put the handle here which is it's pretty good it's solid it's uh it's not going anywhere so uh that's it. So, as you see, oil. It's a bit low on oil, but it pumps fine. And uh, I noticed when I started it up, it's leaking air somewhere around here. So it it might be this thing that's uh, misplaced or something. So I'm gonna remove the cover and we'll see what we can find. Yeah. So basically, uh, I got it uh, to do my trims, OGs, and uh, all the interior stuff. So I pretty much only need some compressed air to dust off some uh, some boards and uh, clean up computers and do trim. So I wanted a smaller one, but I wanted a smaller but a better one, and that's what it is. So let me take off the, uh, the screw right here. There's one here. So Oops. Huh, it is. Found a problem. This is loose. Well, as you can see, there's some tabs here, and they need to fit in here because uh, apparently this this thing is bent. So, I'm gonna take the hammer and I'm gonna put it back where it belongs. So this way. Yeah, sort of straight. So this way, when I push it back, it's gonna be just fine. So there we go. I might. Yeah, that's uh, that's solid. So now, there we go. I lost this screw. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Yep. yep, missing trim. This is the. Uh, this is kind of the. Uh, workshop where I put all my tools oh yeah it already fits better so I'll be that so let's screw that back in and also there's no there's no glass in here not on the main gauge not even on the secondary here but the gauge they work so uh I'm gonna bother with them, just gonna clean them up and uh, when I find some for uh, a good price, well, I'm just gonna buy them and uh, replace it. So I'm gonna plug it in and uh, start it up. And now so you can see the gauge, I'm gonna aim you at it. Right there. Yeah, if it can focus, yeah. Come on, you can do it. Because damn it. There we go. So the leak is right here. This tube here, which connects to the pressure switch. Well, there's two of them. 
Yeah. So when it's pumping, this one is leaking, and otherwise, uh, this one here does. Okay, so two leaks, so let's start with the cursor switch, let's see if I can uh, trim this guy and uh, make it work again. I'm just going to remove the whole, uh, the whole thing. That's my regulator, so uh, model number and everything. So uh, I'll have to dismantle this, make sure there's nothing stuck in it. And now I got a pressure switch, which I'm gonna have to unplug. I don't have any choice. So here it goes. That was just in here. I'm gonna put it back there because I don't want to lose it. And now we got. Okay, so it's each its side. So. Hopefully they made it so I don't have to take off the old. Uh, the whole screw. I can just. Oh, yeah, there we go. Easy as buy. Okay. I got that nut. There you go. So, you can pull the water from the bottom. I'm gonna put it on the side. I don't wanna grab it by the impeller. Because it's plastic. And, uh, here we go. So, something's wrong with this guy. I guess it's only a matter of trimming up the uh, the tube here and it'll be fine, but if we don't try, we'll never know. Oh, you couldn't see anything. Great. <laughs> you couldn't see anything? It's perfect. Sorry, you couldn't see anything, but yeah so it leaks from this part here so this is loose i don't know i can't see anything wrong with it so yeah i'm gonna clean all that up make sure everything is nice and pretty yeah, let's just clean it Make sure everything is nice for when we put it back together. So, and that's the old uh, pipe dope. A liquid. 
Otherwise it wouldn't come off like that, so... I got the regular one, that'll do. It's the, the tape, uh, the one that's in tape form, so... I don't think there's anything wrong with this thing. I think it's the tube that is bent and it's not sealing properly anymore. Well, well, the fitting looks pretty good. So uh, when I noticed there was a bent in here, and uh, it was the bent was probably uh, catching on the edge and preventing this guy from reaching the uh, O-ring in there. And the O-ring in there looks good, so I'm just gonna put it back in there, and uh, it'll be fine. But first I'm gonna need a thread sealer to put anything back, so uh gonna have to, to find it. So there you go. Put a bit of a sealing tape there. Also gave it a bit of a clean. That should be good. Matter of putting back the bolts and uh, rewiring it. I'll start with the bolts. Yeah, I, uh, I disconnected it. <laughs> it was a pain to put that tube back in there, but now it's solid and it doesn't move. So uh, hopefully there was a problem with the leaking pressure switch. This goes here. to try but yeah it kind of crapped out so uh, the seal there's a piston in here that moves and uh, on the other one which is right there right inside there uh, well it's a uh, it's a goner so uh, I flipped it around but wouldn't work what happened is if the tank was higher pressure then the uh, regulated pressure would leak and I flipped the seal around didn't do anything it just worn out so I got another one which is a uh, new old stock. A guy had uh, had that uh, around, and uh, he had a few of these. So uh, yeah, replace that. So and I got that plug to replace. So I'm gonna replace this and uh, give it a try. Hey, new plug! Whee! Ah, yeah, that feels better. Let's see. Oh no, I got a got a plug here to uh, dope up with the with the tape. Yeah, I got nothing to hold it, so I'm gonna take a nailing key and I uh, use that. There we go. 
So as usual, you start in reverse. Like so, so when you screw it, the edge, which is right there, well, it's not going to be pulled this way. It's going to go around and uh, tighten up around. That's why you do it that way. There. It's sealed. Eighty pound is enough, and not a noise. So let's crank it higher. Down. Yeah, that's good. So that's the end of this. So well. That's it for Tool Repair Sunday. Hope you guys have a nice one. And uh, we'll talk to you later.